Hello, future freedivers, and welcome to the Total Beginner Freedive Podcast, brought to you by Octopus Freediving. The next few episodes, we will address some more practical aspects of freediving, and that begins with taking a freedive course. This is episode seven, where we discuss the prerequisites for taking a freedive course. Let me hear that jingle. Twenty years stuck in the office, and now he's traveling the world. Just one breath and diving deep, he's healthier and happier than ever. Free dive nomad, he's found what he wants to do. A free diving podcast, a total beginners like you. Free dive nomad, the peace into the deep blue. Make the dream come true, you can do this too. Hi, this is Ray, the Free Dive Nomad, and your host for today's episode, as usual. So, what are the prerequisites for a beginner free dive course? To be honest, there are not a lot of requirements for joining a free dive course. There are generally three explicit requirements for a free dive course: age, swimming ability, and health. Now, note that there are about a dozen international free dive agencies, but most of them, I believe, will have more or less these prerequisites. First is age. 16 to 18 years old is usually the minimum age requirement. Some agencies like IDA or PADI do have programs for children under the age of 16. Swimming ability. Most agencies have swimming requirements of between 100 to 300 meters. The longer distance is if you use a mask, snorkel, and fins. This is really not a test you want to just pass, as you do need a strong swimming ability to freedive. Generally, good health. When you sign up for a course, you will be given a medical questionnaire listing out many health conditions like diabetes or asthma or any heart, sinus, ear, pulmonary, or neurological conditions. If you answer yes to any of them, you will need a sign-off from your doctor. And seizures is the one condition I know of that will totally preclude you from participating in a freedive course. Now, this is not an explicit requirement, but definitely something to consider. You must be comfortable in the open water. Despite being strong swimmers, there are still a lot of people who kind of freak out when they can't see the bottom of the lake or ocean. If you're not comfortable in the open water, I'd suggest an alternative to learn in a deep pool that allows free diving. Deep pools are becoming more popular around the world, and even right here in Taiwan, we have one called Dive Cube. There's also K26 in South Korea, Nemo 33 in Belgium, Y40 in Italy, Deep Spot in Poland, and I hear the deepest one in the world is launching soon in the UK. And if anyone out there is interested in building one in the U.S., may I suggest my hometown, the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas. I've even heard some aquariums offer free dive courses. How cool would that be? Now, if deep pools don't work for you, you can try researching exposure therapy, which is a method used by cognitive behavioral therapists to help people overcome fears and anxiety. So I recorded this episode several weeks ago when I was still in quarantine, but just two weeks ago, the deepest pool in the world opened in Dubai with a stunning depth of 60 meters. The Guinness Book of World Records already certified it as the deepest pool for diving as of June 27th. And not only is it the deepest, but has the most interesting interiors, which you should really check out on their Instagram account called Deep Dive Dubai. And it's already attracting major celebrities like Will Smith. As we talk more and more about taking a free dive course in the coming episodes, there is one piece of equipment I always suggest my students consider buying before a beginner course rather than renting, and that's a wetsuit. It's been said that there are two kinds of people, those who pee in their wetsuits and those who lie about peeing in their wetsuits. 
The physiological changes that happen in freediving causes a diver to want to pee a lot. It's called immersion diuresis. I have no issue with peeing in wetsuits, but for me, it's kind of gross even with deep cleaning. But that's just me. I don't mean like using hotel towels. So if you decide to buy a wetsuit, please consider one of our affiliate partners, Waihana Wetsuits from the great state of Hawaii. Their wetsuits are comfy, stylish, and eco-friendly. It ticks a lot of boxes for me. Head over to freedivepodcast.com slash wetsuit to have a look at their awesome wetsuits. And that's it for me. Dive safe, never dive alone, and really consider taking that free dive course. 20 years stuck in the office, and now he's traveling the world. Just one breath and diving deep. He's healthier and happier than ever. Free dive nomad. He's found what he wants to do. A free diving podcast. A total beginners like you. Free dive nomad. The peace into the deep blue. Make the dream come true. You can do this too.